Queens Parish Criminal Court, a jury deliberates in the case of a man accused of killing five people over the span of 45 days. Chris Welty is live with the latest in the murder trial of Tyrone Steele. Chris. Liz Lauren, yeah, the jury is still deliberating. We're told that the jury is getting close to reaching a verdict. They've been at it now for nearly three and a half hours. Now, the defense says that this case lacks evidence. Meanwhile, the state argues that Tyrone Tyrone Steele is quote, a prolific killer. 20 year old Tyrone Steele faces life in prison if convicted on at least one of the five counts of first degree murder. Steele is accused of going on a murder spree, killing five people over 45 days in 2022. In one case, Steele allegedly shot three people to death at an apartment on Encampment Street. The state says some of those killed were Steele's friends. This guy was definitely the one man crime spree. The defense says this case lacks evidence, adding, quote, we're talking about Mr. Steele's life, freedom and future. Not guilty is a just verdict. On the prosecution's table, multiple guns, bullets, casings, and even a bracelet the state says was on steel after murdering a victim were on display. The defense told the jury they will hear a, quote, Oscar-winning performance by Mr. Williams. In closing arguments, District Attorney Jason Williams held what he said was a gun in Steele's possession. This is not a prop. This is a real assault weapon that fires very real bullets. This is not a prop. This is a Glock with a laser pointer that was found with the defendant. Williams went on to say, these are not rubber pellets that might leave a bruise when fired in a movie. They obliterate skulls, brain matter, and change lives. The jury was shown photos, social media posts allegedly made by Steele, plus surveillance of Steele driving what the state says was a victim's car that smelled like a decomposing body because it was drenched in blood. The defense objected multiple times, even shouted during Williams' closing arguments. Williams ended by telling the jury, quote, Steele committed every single one of those crimes, and he did so unapologetically, brazenly, and horrifically. Fox 8 legal analyst Joe Responti believes this is an easy case for the jury. Well, I think this is going to be a pretty straightforward case. They're going to keep it clean. And I think you should expect five guilty verdicts in Orleans Parish. Now, I'm told the family just went inside the courtroom, so we do believe that the jury has reached a verdict. Our Chris Joseph is in the courtroom. We'll bring you the very latest, but it has to be a unanimous verdict on each of those charges. And if the jury does find Steele guilty of first degree murder, he does face life in prison. Reporting live at Criminal Court, Chris Welty, Fox 8 Local First.